Okay. So the warm up referred to these two classes whose uh, frequency graphs were given. So we have class one that was looking like this, and then we have class two that was looking like this. When you look at a frequency chart, you should be able to easily recognize, you know, unless they're pretty close, you should be able to easily recognize which group um, has a higher mean and which group has a higher standard deviation. Okay? So depending on whether you're talking about the mean or the standard deviation, um, you're looking at two different characteristics of the graph. So I need you to understand w when you look at a graph, what do you look for when we're talking about mean and what do we look for when we're talking about standard deviation. Okay? So the first question, which class has a higher mean grade? First let me get the feedback from you so I can see where we are. Hold up one finger if you felt like class one had the higher mean. Hold up two fingers if you felt like class two has a higher mean. Let me see that feedback. Class one or class two, higher mean. Keep them up for one second. Okay, everybody put your hands down. Almost everybody voted for class two. Can anybody, that's correct. Can anybody tell me why you said class two had the higher mean? What are you looking at when you look at the graph? Okay, I hear Hunter saying um, he's looking at the average, in some sense the middle of the group. Okay, so if you just kind of eyeballed it and asked yourself, well, where's about the middle of this thing? Um, that's what the mean is all about. So the middle of this would be around in here somewhere maybe, somewhere, you know, in the, in the 80s. Um, whereas if you look at class one, it's spread out a little bit more, so it's harder to see. Um, but you can bet that the middle of the graph is lower. Okay, so class two had the higher mean. Now, I sort of hinted at it already, but um, let's talk about question number two. Which class has the higher standard deviation? One more time, show me on your fingers which class do you think has the higher standard deviation? Class two or class one, higher standard deviation. Hold them up for one more second. Waiting on page, let me see pages. Okay, everybody put them down. Most people voted that class one had the higher standard deviation. Now somebody please tell me, what do we look at when we're looking at the graph to see which one has a higher standard deviation? If it's not the middle that matters, because that's the mean, what does matter for standard deviation? Kelvin said the spread. And be specific. Um, the spread is what matters. How do, what is the spread? How does the spread relate to standard deviation? The spread is the thing. Now, just be, take it more specific for me. How does the spread tell you about standard deviation? Okay, India said the further the graph is apart, the higher the standard deviation. Okay, and that is the connection. So as you look at class one as compared to class two. Uh, class two, all of the data is between 65 and 100. That's sort of a, a relatively tight grouping. But if you look at class one, the grades are spread out all the way from 10 to 100 and with a lot more variation in between. Okay, so the more spread out the graph is, the higher the standard deviation. So class one does have the higher standard deviation. Okay, so we decided that class two had the higher mean, class one had the higher standard deviation. Now look at problem number three. In class one, if the two lowest students improve their grade by 20%, while everyone else stayed the same, how would this affect the mean, how would this affect the median, and what about the standard deviation? Let's take them one by one. Um, let's talk about the mean first, okay? We're talking about class one, and again, 
Look at these two little bars right here. These two little bars reflect um, the lowest two students. Imagine that these two little bars were increased by 20%. That would be uh, like four jumps to the right, okay? Because these are going by 5%. Um, so if these two little bars shifted to the right, basically, by four jumps, the question is, how would that affect the mean? Um, for this question, get, we'll do thumbs up for increases, thumbs down for decreases, and hold up a fist for stays the same. Okay, so right now we're talking about the mean. So everybody show me on your hands, what would happen to the mean for this class if these two little guys moved up four spaces? Would, it, would the mean increase, would the mean decrease, or would the mean stay the same? Show me real quick. Okay, put them down. All right, everybody agreed the mean would increase. All right, the mean is affected by everything. If you take something and increase it, the mean's going to go up. If you take any part of something and you decrease it, the mean's going to go down. So yes, the mean is definitely going to go up. Now, what about the median? Sometimes the median is affected, sometimes it's not. So what about this case? Um, show me on your thumbs again. Thumbs up for the median would increase, median would decrease, thumbs down, median would stay the same, hold up a fist. Everybody take a vote. Okay, put your hands down. Almost everybody was voting that the median would stay the same. Um, can anybody explain to me why? Why would the median stay the same? Go, Kayla. You still have the same amount of numbers overall. And what is the median? Like if we were to calculate it, what, what, what does the median mean? It's just the middle. Literally, if you lined them all up, it would be the middle one. So let's say the middle number would be somewhere in this bar from 70 to 75. I'm just guessing. I haven't calculated it yet. But say this was the middle, this tall bar. Moving these two on the end are not going to change the fact that this is still the middle. Okay, they're on the end. Moving around the things on the end will not have any effect on what the middle number is. So the median would not change. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, now, what about the standard deviation? If I move those two little bars over, um, show me on your, on your, with your hands one more time. Standard deviation, would it increase? Would the standard deviation decrease, or would the standard deviation stay the same? Let me see everybody's vote on your hands real quick. We're talking about this graph. Standard deviation is what we're talking about. Increase, decrease, or stay the same. Same thing as before. We move these two up. Keep them up for one more second. I'm scanning class. Okay, everybody put your hands down. Um, the class seemed to settle on that the standard deviation would decrease. Now, who can explain to me why the standard deviation would decrease if I moved these two over? Who can explain to me why? Victoria. Correct. Victoria is saying, look guys, remember, um, standard deviation is all about how spread out the data is. By moving these two closer to the group, we are decreasing the spread of the graph. Since we're decreasing how spread out it is, we're decreasing the standard deviation. Okay? Um, so that was correct. So we decided that the, the mean um, would increase, the median would stay the same, and we had decided that the standard deviation would decrease. Okay, any questions so far? Okay, um, look at number four. In class two, if every grade fell by 20%, how would this affect the mean, median, and standard deviation? 
Okay? So everybody stay with me. We're going to go through this really fast. So you have to focus so you know what I'm asking you. One more time. It's going to be the same question for all three of these. We're talking about class two. If every single grade in class two dropped by 20%, that's four of these little marks. Okay? The question is, what would happen to the mean? What would happen to the median? What would happen to the standard deviation? Let's start with the mean. Show me on your hands what would happen to the mean if all the uh, grades dropped by 20%. Show me with your thumbs real fast. Okay, put your hands down. We seem to be agreeing that the mean would decrease. Okay, that's a no-brainer. If everything drops, the middle is going to drop. The, the, uh, the mean is going to definitely drop. Um, what about the median? Flash me those thumbs for the median. If all the grades drop, Show me with your thumbs what's going to happen to the median. The median. Keep them up for one more second. Okay, all right, put your hands down. All right, that time I saw a split in the class. Half of the class was saying that the, uh, the median would drop, but half the class was saying that the median would stay the same. Now, we're talking about class two. Okay, now remember... What is median? The median is physically the middle number, not the average, but the actual middle value. So in this case, um, let's guesstimate. I'm betting the middle number, if we counted them all, would, would probably be in this little bar here between 85 and 90. True. Okay? Now, let's say, that, let's say that's the middle number, is somewhere in there. If we move every single number in this list, 20% uh, lower. That would mean every single number in this list, this entire graph, would shift uh, four spaces to the left. The entire graph. Um, if the entire graph shifts four spaces lower, is the middle going to move or is the middle going to stay the same? It's going to move. Okay? Because, say if this is the middle right here, focus on that. If this entire graph gets less, um, that means this, too, is going to move left. In this case, four spaces would be 20%. So this little guy right here would move one, two, three. It would wind up over here. The new median would go from here to over there. The, the, the entire graph is moving to the left including the median. Okay, so the median is definitely going to decrease if everything shifts to the left. Okay? So everybody should have said that the median will decrease. Um, Margaret, do you understand why the median is going to decrease? Okay. Now, one more time, what about the uh, standard deviation? What's going to happen to the standard deviation if all of the numbers decrease by 20%? Show me on your thumbs. Will, it, will the standard deviation increase, will it decrease, or will it stay the same? Everybody show me your vote right now. Waiting on Irvin, Paige. Okay, put them down. All right, that time the class seemed to agree that the standard deviation would stay the same. And that's correct. If all of the grades move, is the graphs getting uh, more spread out or closer together? No. If the entire graph shifts, the spacing stays the same. And that's your standard deviation is the spacing. Okay? So that's what's going to stay the same. Um, Wait. Oh, yeah, number four. Okay, so, if I, so we um, decided that if all the grades fell by 20%, the mean would decrease, the median would decrease, and the standard deviation would stay the same. Okay. Um, last problem in the warm-up. Looking at uh, class two one more time. A new student joins class two with a transfer grade of 
how would this affect the mean, median, and standard deviation? Okay, we're talking about class two. Um, a new student joins, so I have all these existing grades, but a new student joins with a class average of 5%. Okay, so that's going to be over here someplace. Okay, um, how is that going to affect the mean? If I add in this new data, show me on your thumbs real quick what's going to happen to the mean. What's going to happen to the mean? Show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. Okay, everybody put your hands down. All right, everybody should have been like this, okay? Thumbs down. The mean is going to decrease. And here's why. Um, remember, the mean is just the average, okay? So right now, if I added all these up and divided by the total, the middle, the average of these grades is going to be you know, somewhere in the center over here. Adding a new low value, it's, um, it's sort of like this. Say if you have a bunch of grades. Say if you have several test grades. You have a, everything is in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Okay? And then you have one new test grade, and you didn't get any sleep, you're feeling sick, and on this last test grade, you got a 5% on this test grade. All your other grades were like 70s, 80s, and 90s, but then you got a 5 on a test. How do you think that's going to affect your average? It's going to go down, okay? So that's what mean is. Mean is like what your grades are all calculated by means. So anytime I'm talking about mean, uh, put it in terms of grades. That'll help you understand what's going to happen. A 5% test grade will definitely drop your average, so it's going to drop the mean. Does that make sense? Um, what about the median? If I put this new low value on, how will that affect the median? All right, show me on your hands how this will affect the median, adding this new value. I'm waiting. I'm waiting on like 10 people. Increase, decrease, stay the same. Can't see Piper. All right, Irvine, waiting on Irvine. Okay. All right, put him down, put him down. Um, the median, and most people seem to be reflecting this with their hands, the median is likely to stay the same. Okay? Adding on this one value. Remember, the median is the one that's the physical middle. It's not the average. It's if you lined them all up in a row, which one would be in the middle of the line, okay? Um, and again, let's say if the middle number was somewhere in, in these three. Uh, you know what, I'd probably have to add them up and, and, and see. Did anybody physically count and see where the actual middle is? Where, yeah. Where's the middle? It's like right on the edge. I'm not sure where it is. It's like right on the edge of one of those bars. Okay, I probably should have counted it up to, to see, okay? Um, but understand, um, adding a single number is usually not likely to change the uh, middle value if there's a bunch of them that are the same. I didn't actually count it up, so it's possible that it was like. Class one by accident. Say again. I did class one by accident. You did class one by accident. Okay. I'm pretty sure that the median does not change. I probably should have calculated it out to be sure though. Um.